Isaac Newton's second law of motion states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. We're going to race some cars and I bet you're going to find out that you already intuitively understand this second law of motion. Now I had a bit of a surprise for our drivers. They were going to have to race with their engines off. Turn off your engines! That's right, no horsepower here, only manpower. Ready, Nine. two, Get So our first race was a bit of a blowout. Now before we change some things up and race again, let's look at how Newton's second law could have predicted this outcome. And I bet you could have too. You see, some people think Newton's second law is going to be complicated because, well, it's a formula. But really, the formula is just an explanation of a beautiful relationship between three different things. The force applied to an object, the mass of that object, and how much it will accelerate. Notice how in the first race, both vehicles had the same amount of force applied. Let's say each person could push with a force of 10. So a total force of 20 is applied to each car. However, the masses of the vehicles are very different. Well, let's represent the mass with a two for the car and a five for the truck. In order to make our formula work, what kind of acceleration will each of these vehicles experience? The vehicle with less mass must have a much greater acceleration. So the car wins in a blowout. Let's race again, but add another person behind the truck. What is your prediction of what will happen this time? Ready, set, go! So the car takes the win again. But compared to the finish of the first race, the truck was a lot closer this time. So what are we gonna do? Add a fourth person behind the truck. I think our car power was starting to get a little tired because this turned out to be a super close race. Go! It was an incredibly close finish, but the car still pulled off the narrow win. Now let's say, for some reason, I couldn't add any more force behind the truck. Using the formula as our guide, is there some other way we could still increase the truck's acceleration? Well, what about if we could reduce the mass? But how could I reduce the mass of the truck? Well, it just so happens that I had left a thousand pounds of bagged concrete in the back of the truck. A few minutes later, the equation had changed. According to the formula, both vehicles would now have the same acceleration. But of course, in the real world, just a little bit of motivation can make all the difference. So after a little break, we lined up for the final showdown. As we expected, it was a close race, but the truck finally took the win. And hopefully, you now understand Isaac Newton's second law of motion. It's not a formula. It's a beautiful explanation of a basic physics relationship. If you want more acceleration, apply more force or decrease the mass. Have a great day, and as always, stay curious, my friends. Go! We're winning. We're gonna win.